Okay, got a voltmeter here set up, uh, AC volts, uh, maximum scale is 200, the crystallite APM, uh, speed 3, 98 volts, LiPo, and the, the, uh, the cycle analyst there just to show coverably. Now, this is the problem. I'll start it up, motor starts spinning. I was engaged cruise control there. Uh, voltage is going up there, it's just the AC voltage coming out for the sensor. And you see very low current. This is a, a brushless light, uh, this is a crystallite uh, 18 FET brushless controller running about 98 volts. Give it another poke on the, uh, the cruise control, just one pulse upwards. speeds up, as you'd expect. Very little torque, almost no torque at all. If I put my finger on it, slow it down. Barely any pressure. I can stop the motor. The current isn't increasing at all. Well, not to any noticeable degree. I'm actually putting a fair bit of pressure there now. But I can stop the motor. Can I? Hmm. Maybe not. Still the current isn't going up massively. No, I... No, I can't stall the motor out. Not without burning my finger, anyway. Again. Now look what happens if I increase the throttle yet again. One more pulse on the throttle. This is maybe, if you were doing it with a hand throttle, less than uh, less than a 5%, 10% turn. So barely any movement on the throttle. So that's why I'm using the cruise control. One more press on the cruise control plus button. And it slows down and it stops. I think it's going to stop. Yeah. Reduce the cruise control again. Take the cruise control down. Back to a lower setting. So I've gone all the way down to pretty much zero throttle there. And then come back up one. Two presses. Built up to the normal sort of speed. Very slow acceleration. Third press is the maximum we get out of it. And I'll try and show you what I mean here about the movement of the throttle, how much little throttle movement is required. It peaks and it cuts out again. Open the throttle all the way. Motor starts whining. Current doesn't go up massively, so I don't want to cook anything. 